Dr. Wallach, I want to welcome you to One on One. It's so good to have you, sir. Well, thank you, Damon. Appreciate it. With 150 million of these books, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, really across the globe, I hear that people's lives are being changed for the better. Share with us the man behind this book, if you would, please, sir. Okay. When I was um, four years old, I began to have um, facial tics and mm -hmm. noises and grunting noises and things. And today it'd be called Tourette syndrome. Mm. And it got progressively worse. By the time I was nine, all my friends thought I was uh, possessed because it was really <laughs> bad. And I was disabled. And my mom took me to a medical doctor who was an eye doctor for some reason. And this uh, doctor said, well, I can't find anything wrong with him except that uh, he has long eyelashes or hitting his glasses, curling back and tickling his eyeballs. And that's what's making all this happen. <laughs> well, I'm nine years old and I knew that wasn't right. And, sure. And grew up on a little farm, and the bus would pick me up in the morning to go to school, but beforehand I had chores, and one of them was to feed the little bull calves out of a big bag full of alfalfa pellets that were fortified with vitamins and minerals. And um, you'd read the, the um, uh, analysis label on it. It said uh, vitamin A and vitamin C, vitamin D and calcium and magnesium and zinc and copper and so forth. And I went to school the, the next day, and and um, began to look for this book, and I found this book, The Nurse's Handbook. And I looked in the index for eyelash problems, eyelid problems, couldn't find anything. So I just started in the index A, B. It got down to, to C and cramps. I said, well, I'm starting to play sports and as a nine-year-old, so maybe it's a cramp. So I looked it up and said, calcium deficient. Well, there's calcium in those pellets. So that day when the bus left me back off at home, I started eating those calf pellets. What? Mm -hmm. And the next morning, I threw the Cheerios out to the chickens, and I put the calf pellets in my cereal bowl and put milk in there. My mom wanted to take them away from me. My dad said, no, let them do it. And in three days' time, my Tourette syndrome was gone. Whoa. Doc, nine years old. Yes. And you're in the library pulling out reference material. Yes. Trying to discover what's going on in your body. Now, that's not what normal nine-year-olds do. <laughs> you have been on a quest to discover what makes this body work since a very little boy. That's right. And I knew, just as you said, Damon, no nine-year-old figures this out. Sure. And so I knew when I was nine years old that this had to be guidance from God himself. Absolutely. So you've spent a lifetime yes. studying, researching. I called you a pioneer in discovering what really is going on inside these mm -hmm. bodies. Doc, then I must ask you, what is causing so many people to be so unhealthy. The world is sick, Doc. What's going on out there? It's actually quite simple. The reason why we're sick is we're not giving our genes and our DNA and our RNA and our telomeres, little end caps on our chromosome, everything they need to maximize our genetic potential that the good Lord gave us. And one of the things that was really interesting to me was that God made us in His image. Mm -hmm. And I always thought as a kid, does God have hemorrhoids? Does God have heart disease? That's Does God have question. diabetes? Does <laughs> God have not. ringing in his ears? Of, of course, course not. not. Yeah. And so somehow along the way we're messing things up. But isn't the food that we eat providing us the kind of nutrition that we need? No. Just eating well isn't enough. You have to do more than that. And the good Lord picked uh, the Garden of Eden to put Adam in because it was the perfect place nutritionally, biochemically in the world. Now it's perfect because there were four rivers dumping into there. It's the first map quest. The Garden <laughs> of Eden was east of Eden. Four rivers. Right? The yeah. Tigris, Euphrates, sure. Pishon, and Dishon rivers dumping right. in there. So that place is still there. It's the most fertile place on earth. It's got to be. Yeah. And so God didn't place Adam anywhere. He put him in the most fertile place where he had the best chance to be everything he could be. Got it. And so if you look at how minerals are distributed, minerals make up two-thirds of our 90 essential nutrients. We need 16 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids. And whether you're a hummingbird or a human being or an elephant, any vertebrate needs those 90 essential nutrients. Which means that God built us to need them. Yes. There's some places on earth where they're perfect. And there's many places on earth where they're not. In other words, some gardens might have three minerals in it. Some might have 14. Some might have 25. Some might have 70. Hmm. The people who live in places where there's 70 are going to live longer and be healthier than the ones that have three. So all soil isn't the same. Oh, no. Well, th well, then if I'm buying healthy food at my local grocery store and it looks good and maybe even it tastes great, I don't know what soil that came from. Exactly right. That's our problem. So just because you're eating well and eating organic doesn't mean anything when it comes to nutrition. It means nothing. Wow. It doesn't mean that I'm going to get then all of what, not what my body might need to have. You're saying what my body must have. Exactly. Now, okay. here's how we did it originally. 
Um, up until a certain period of time, the universal fuel in the world was wood. We burned wood for heat and sure. cooking and sure. so forth. And there was stuff left over. We call them ashes. And we would take these really minerals that the tree had sucked up out of the ground and didn't burn when you burned the wood. Mm -hmm. We'd throw them in the garden. Mm -hmm. And these wood ashes were our source of nutritional mineral supplementation. Wow. Now, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, September 4th, 1882, it all changed. It was in a heartbeat. It all went away. A guy by the name of Thomas Edison pulled the switch in the first commercial electric generating plant. And people liked electricity. Sure they did. What happened here was within 10 years, everybody in the industrialized world converted from wood as universal fuel to electricity. Well, here comes the ultimate question. How many wood ashes are left over every morning when you fuel your house with electricity? Zero. Zero. <laughs> and what did we replace that traditional source of nutritional mineral supplementation with? Nothing. Then what is happening absent these required nutrients that we're supposed to have? Is that why? Our bodies are breaking down. Is that why we're not healing naturally the way that, we, I mean, am I getting it? You got it. We're not designed to have heart disease. We're not designed to have um, diabetes. We're not designed to have arthritis. We're not designed to have Alzheimer's disease. We're not to have, designed to have periodontal disease and low thyroid. And that's, we have these things because these nutrients are missing in our food now. You said it exactly as I read it in the Bible, that he made us in his likeness and his image. He didn't make us to be broken down. Right? He didn't make us to be sick. He didn't make us to be depleted of the ability to do all of these things that he created us to do. And, and I just believe there are people watching who have, have given in to whatever they're facing. The doctor has given them a prognosis and it's not a good one. And they have given in. They've, they've become defeated because of how they feel every day. So, is it possible, as we get into this interview, for people that are watching to get their mindset that no matter where they are, no matter how bad they feel, you can help them do something about it? Am I understanding that that's what they're going to discover in this book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie? Exactly, Damon. We're going to talk about God's stuff. And what they have to appreciate is that they've been talking to people who are experts in misinformation. Hmm. Every century, there's been thousands of failed medical theories. Hmm. Now, the 20th century and the 21st century have been no different. There's thousands of failed medical theories, including saturated fat and cholesterol clogs your arteries and causes heart disease. That's a failed theory. Sure. None of that's true. Right. Uh, cholesterol is an essential nutrient, like oxygen and water. Wow. We're not obese because we eat too much and lack enough exercise. Um, we're obese because we're missing certain nutrients. Mm. It's a nutritional deficiency to be obese. And then, of course, salt is good. You know, the good Lord said, go forth and be of salt of the earth. And um, doctors say, don't use salt. Well, God lives forever. And doctors average lifespan according to their own survey in 1999 is 56. So wow. on the salt thing, I'm going with God. Boy, okay. th th three examples you just yes. gave, and I'm sure there's plenty more in this book yes. of what we're hearing and have accepted as the truth. It's not the truth at all. I mean, not even close. It's confusing. Each year in America, medical doctors kill, injure, and infect 15 million patients in hospitals and their clinics, and they get a walk. Nobody has their license suspended. Nobody goes to jail. Nobody gets a parking ticket. Gosh, Doc, this is it's a sobering moment for me because my father died of cancer. Hmm. Prior to that, he had cardiomyopathy. They say it wasn't the... May I? Yeah, right please, here? Please. Cardiomyopathy is a simple deficiency of a single mineral. And if they were to supplement with all 90 essential nutrients and take extra of this one mineral, we would never have another case of cardiomyopathy heart disease. Okay, you're, you're killing me. What, what's the mineral? It's called selenium. Selenium. Yes. A nutrient yes. could have made a difference. Oh, I could have saved your father's life, yes. These are the moments in this program when there's a shift. Mm -hmm. We get past the niceties mm -hmm. and doing the interview thing and we begin speaking to the people that are watching that are right now facing the darkest night of the soul. They get up every day and they're sick and they're depleted. They've stopped living the life that God designed for them to live and they're asking, what in the world can I do? I I'm facing it myself. I started feeling this pain in my joints, inflammation. I'm a young guy, and I eat relatively well. I got a lot of stuff I want to do for the kingdom. And, and yet, I'm being frozen and paralyzed by this creeping, degenerative, incurable 
disease that the medical establishment says that I've got to live with and medicate against the rest of my days. Neither of those statements are correct. They're Talk to true. me. Okay, well, first of all, um, if you do have rheumatoid arthritis, it's actually caused by an infection with a bug called mycoplasma. It's very easy to kill that bug in a couple of weeks, and then in a couple of months, um, we can, I can legally say, support and promote maintenance and repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between a vertebrae. You, well, you've got to be yeah. kidding me. No, sir. I've been doing this for 36 years. We do this thousands of times a day. Doc, is this what this book is going to tell me? I yes, mean, sir. people that are watching that are facing a whole host of, of ailments. Yes. You're, you're, you're saying there's hope. Well, there's more than hope. The reversal of these diseases is so easy. For instance, let's take the disease that's killing us financially in America, diabetes. Yeah. Type 2 diabetes, which makes up 98% of the diabetic population, is a deficiency of a single mineral. I could make the United States a diabetes-free country in two months or less, Gosh. maybe even two weeks, if everybody did exactly the same thing. Blood sugar is really not the disease. It's a symptom of the disease. Mm -hmm. And so managing blood sugar, you're not getting close to dealing with the disease. Sure, sure. It's kind of like when you have pain, when you have arthritis, you manage pain, the disease keeps getting worse. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. They put me on, they put me on pills. Mm -hmm. a and, and I asked the question, what next? I don't want to just treat what's going on. I want to get to the root and fix it. Mm -hmm. And the answers are, we are going to help manage your disease. Because that's where the money's at. If they were to cure you in three weeks, they'd make $300. But if they treat you for your arthritis for 25 years, it makes $750,000. Gosh. When you say that, I'm like, okay, how much am I spending on this book? That's going to cut my medical bills very quickly having access to the kind of information that could perhaps not just save my life, but save the lives of so many people around me. Yes, your family, your pastor. The reality is if we keep doing what we've always been doing, we're going to stay exactly where we are. But one book could make a difference. One, one bit of information about what you can do differently could make a difference in the people's lives mm. that are watching right now. Can, can this help me if I'm facing that horrible death sentence of cancer? Of course. Um, cancer is a very easy disease to prevent. If you just cook your meat medium rare instead of well done, you'll reduce your risk of breast cancer, ladies, by 462%. What? Yeah. Let's just, go to 462%. Just how I cook my meat? Yes. Come on, Doc. You can reduce the risk. This is a big, large study from the University of uh, South Carolina. Wow. But my doctor says cook it well done to avoid E. coli. I'd rather deal with E. coli than cancer. What, what, what about just the simple stuff? Arthritis. Arthritis or, or people watching right now that are on Nexium and mm -hmm. a whole host of other pills because they can, their digestive tract is messed up and everything else that's going on in the world. Okay, well, Nexium is the worst possible thing you can take. <laughs> if you have reflux, it really should be called lack of acid reflux because what happens is when you don't have enough stomach acid, your stomach environment is not sterile. Stomach acid has many, many functions, one of which is to sterilize your stomach environment. Mm. Nothing will grow in there when it's acid. Now, if you're doing things to alkalize yourself, which many people go out of their way to do, or you're avoiding salt, which is the raw material for your stomach to make acid, that's one of the bad things about avoiding salt. You don't make enough stomach acid. Wow. Chloride from the sodium chloride makes hydrochloric acid. Okay? And so what happens is your pH gets up around four or five, kind of between one and neutral, yeast and bacteria will grow in there. That's about the pH of vinegar. Yeast and bacteria will grow mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So every time you eat something that has carbohydrates or sugars in it, they're going to start fermenting it immediately. You get gas, bloating, reflux. So the, so the issues of bloating, the issues of, of acid reflux, which doesn't even really exist. Lack of acid reflux, yeah. All could be solved if we just understood some of the basics. Salt your food. But wait a minute, my doctor says I can't use salt because it causes high blood pressure. No, that's not true That's either. exactly what and the studies suggest. It, well, it's a failed medical theory. Um, have you heard of obesity? That's another one of those failed medical theories. Uh -huh. Obesity is not caused by eating too much and lack of exercise. Well, that's what they say. That's right. But following that 100-year-old theory, we became the number one obese nation in the world. So that theory was a failed theory because following it, adhering to that, trying to eat less, exercising more, we became the number one obese nation in the world. So that's a failed theory. It turns out that being obese is a simple nutritional deficiency. There are people watching that have been on that merry-go-round or mm -hmm. roller coaster, 
the up and the down yo-yo effect mm -hmm. of failed diets. And you're saying it's, it's not just about eating right and it's not just about exercising. No. You've got to have nutrients infused into your body to not just tackle the issues of weight, but a whole host of diseases and sickness and stuff that people are facing. 900 different diseases can be resolved with supplementation. Glaucoma, macular degeneration. Doctors will say, well, there's nothing we can do about it. You know, macular degeneration, you're gonna go blind, nothing we can do. Well, um, I took a challenge from a, an eye doctor about 12 years ago, and as an audience of 300 people, and the first question, my grandmother is 88 years old, she's been legally blind for six years, with macular degeneration, can you do anything about it? I said, well, yeah, I can, I can get rid of that. Wow. This doctor jumps up in the back of him and says, well, like, you're a liar, that's impossible. <laughs> I said, okay, who are you? He said, well, I'm an eye doctor. I said, okay, I'll tell you what, uh, let's have a little bit of a, a wager here. You give me uh, 12 of your patients who are legally blind, six, eight, 10 years from macular degeneration, and we'll put them on my program for, um, uh, say, 90 days. If I could get half of them, if I could get six out of the 12 to read um, um, 20, 20, in 90 days, will you apologize in public? He said, well, if you can get two out of 12, I'll apologize. No doubt. Yeah. So the next day, he brings me a true story. He brings me a box of 27 charts, and he says, pick your 12. I said, well, wait a minute. Why don't we do all 27 of them? But I just have to ask who's going to pay for all the supplements. He says, well, he'll pay for it because he wanted me to lose big. Wow. Okay. And so he says, I'm going to crow about you losing here if you lose. I said, that's right, but you're going to apologize publicly if I win, right? He says, okay. <laughs> And uh, we're talking about half of them, right? Uh, 27, if I could do, mm -hmm. uh, if I could do 15, mm -hmm. uh, 12 or 15 in there, you'll probably, he says, you got it. So in 90 days, all of them could read 2020. Only two of them required glasses to do it. 25 of them didn't need And he did better than I asked for, because I was expecting him to buy me a dinner and a glass of wine, you know, and, and stand up in the restaurant and say, I want to apologize to Dr. Walker. But instead, he made me a CD. He told the whole story of the wager. Wow. And told the story of the CD. It's called Seeing is Believing. Wow. I believe that's an amazing story, mm -hmm. by the way. And we do this thousands of times a month. I believe that people are going to see the results yes. of the information that they will find in this book, Dr. Wallach. I believe that there are people whose lives will be forever changed if they apply the strategies found in this book? Well, they're God's strategies. Uh, it's his stuff. We call it, the people say, what is it? It's, it's the God stuff we call it. I mean, this. It's all God stuff. This is really just, hey, guess what God did, <laughs> right? Exactly. What would, if God were sick, which he'll never be, what would he be doing? I mean, these are the answers. These He's are take, the, the. God's really, taking all 90 essential nutrients. That's why he's not sick. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would be. Yeah, well. If we're built in his image and we need him, then he needs him, right? And, and, and he built our machines to need them. That's correct. Dr. Wallach, this has been so enlightening and quite candidly encouraging to hear today. To hear that there is hope, to hear that there are things that we can do to make a difference in our life. And I, and I want to thank you for spending this valuable time with me. Uh, we're going to go to a break so that people watching can understand how they can get their hands on this amazing material. And when we come back, don't go away, when we come back, Dr. Wallach is going to share with you one simple strategy that you can take today to make an amazing difference, even today, even without getting the book, that you can apply today that can make a difference in your life. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Wasn't that awesome? I hope that you have taken a moment to connect with us and get your hands on this amazing material. We're here with them, aren't we? They're not Absolutely. alone, are they? They're not alone. I have 250,000 people who have now devoted their life to telling this story every day. <laughs> That's the evidence. That's the evidence. When people are trying to make a decision, and there are smart people watching, they're trying to make a decision based upon the evidence. Prove to me mm -hmm. that what you say is true. And you've got story after story after story after story of people that has been changed by this information. Absolutely, plus $100 billion worth of research. Gosh. Doc, I thank you so much for being here with oh, us thank today. Thank you so much. You're so gracious, and I can't thank you enough. Give the people watching, if you would, that one thing that I promised them, that one thing that they can do today to begin living the life that God promised they could live. Salt your food to taste. 
and don't worry about high blood pressure because salt doesn't cause high blood pressure <laughs> and God said to do it. Amen. <laughs> Thank you again. Okay. Can we have you back? Oh, I'd be honored. I'd I mean, honored. there's so much information to cover. Oh, we've just barely scratched the surface. I can tell. I can tell. Thank you so much, Doc. God bless you. Bless you. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time.